Okay, we're going to be talking about strength in the next couple of lectures, and the idea is to begin with something familiar. We speak of strength all the time, actually, you know, sometimes. Uh, not all the time, but we, we've used the word before, even without thinking of engineering. So let's try to define it as we define it in, you know, socially, let's say, and then let's try to apply that knowledge or concept to the engineering world. So we're going to begin with, with just some thought experiments and um, we're going to call this the strength concept lecture. Okay, So let's imagine that two people meet at the gym. Okay? One and two. So this person says to number one, says to number two, hey, number two, how strong are you? That is, what's your strength, right? So number two says, well, what do you mean by that? I mean, what do you mean, what, my, what is my strength? What do you mean by that? Well, how strong are you, says number one. So number two says, well, um, I guess I can do a maximum of 63 push-ups in a single set. So number one says, okay, wow, that's, you know, that's pretty strong, fine. Now, can you do 64? And number two says, no, I mean, I can do 63 in one set. If I rest a little more, then I can do one more, and then that's 64. But in a single set, the maximum, the maximum I can do is 63. So here, and so number one says, okay, great, that's fine. I can do 55, whatever, right? So... In this conversation, these two people have defined strength as the maximum number of push-ups that can be done in one set. That's the way that these two people have defined that in their conversation, defined strength. Now, notice that number one asked number two just a few seconds ago, can you do 64? Number two says, no, I can't. I can only do 63. That's my maximum. So essentially what number one is saying or asking is, hey, number two, if you try to do 64, do you fail? And number two says, yes. I mean, once I, am, once I finish number 63, if I try to do number 64, I cannot do it. I collapse into the floor, onto the floor. That means that I fail when I try to do more than 63. Therefore... The 63 push-ups that I can do define my strength. Because if I attempt to do one more, I fail. So that is the key here, or one of the main keys, which is that strength and failure are related. Very much so. In this definition that we have talked about so far, basically number two is saying, look, my strength is the number of push-ups I can do before I fail. Now, one other thing, uh, just to reiterate here, we've said it a couple of times here before, but make sure that you realize that these two individuals have defined in their conversation the strength, right? So we'll see later on in, in the engineering world, we as engineers define what the strength is based on what we expect the failure to be. And there are different failures, therefore there are different strengths. Here's another okay. example. Let's say that two individuals meet again at the gym. Okay? Now, this one says to number one, says to number two, Hey, number two, uh, how strong are you? And number two says, well, uh, I can push a weight on top of my head. This is called a military press. The maximum weight I can push on top of my head with my shoulders in a military press is 205 pounds. So number one says, okay, that means that, uh, that you can just, you can, the maximum that you can push once is 205 pounds. E, can you push uh, 210 pounds? And number two says, no, I can, the, the maximum I can push is 205. 
if I try to push 206, I can't. So the maximum is 205. That is, if I try again, if I try to push with uh, 206 or even 205.000001, I fail. I cannot do it. Therefore, I define my strength as the maximum weight, which is a force, right? The weight is a force. The maximum weight that I can push once overhead in this case. Okay? So then number one here, number one says, okay, great, you know, I can I can actually push my maximum there is 225. So I'm stronger than you in that in that particular exercise. Okay, so notice here that the strength has been defined in the conversation as the maximum force that can be pushed once overhead. Okay? So Again, same thing, but here the strength is not a number of push-ups. Here the strength is a particular force that is the maximum one that the person can push with uh, once uh, pushing overhead in a press like this, for example. Okay, so I'm using... What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to use things that are not related to engineering to have us recognize that when we talk about strength, we generally, we always really, have to have a definition for failure behind the strength definition. So, for number two, this force is the force at failure. Meaning that if this person wants to push just a little more, they cannot do it. This is the maximum force they can push with. That is the force at failure. Okay? So, in this case, Strength was defined by these people as a force, force, and is the force basically at failure. Number two cannot push more than 205 pounds. Okay? So, in summary, we define what, what the failure situation is, and then we add, we add attach a strength to that situation. In this case, the failure situation is not being able to push this weight, so we attach the strength definition to the maximum weight that can be pushed once. Okay? Now, we'll see later that in engineering, oh, sorry, that in engineering, um, we have to, again, define what the failure is Generally, it's a failure that we expect, right? If there's a failure, we expect it to be in a certain form, basically. And therefore, we need to find the strength, uh, meaning the material property in question, and we'll talk about that later, uh, at that moment, at the moment of failure, at the moment that, that we define as failure. Okay? So that comes up next.